Mike, what's the latest on Rendon's health? He suffered a neck stinger in the game against the Marlins a, a couple nights ago. What's the latest on him? I think he's, uh, you know, he's day to day. I think that uh, he he could he could play today if he had to. Uh, with the day off, I don't know. What, I haven't seen the lineup today yet. Uh, what Dusty's got in mind, but you know, Dusty likes to give guys a day off before an off day, uh, so it kind of gives him a two day uh, uh, respite uh, from playing. But uh, he's he's uh, doing fine, and uh, he was a little sore to, uh, last night. He could have pinched hit if we needed him to. Uh, but we didn't, and uh, but he could play today if we need him to. So, so Mike, getting back to Gio real quick, um, his first year with you guys is when he had the 21 games. He was an all-star that year. And then, you know, he had pretty good years after that, didn't have great win-loss records, but his ERA was always in the mid-threes, high threes. But this year, you know, he's 7-1. and one. You could argue he should be 9-1, and one, you know, maybe 9-2, and two, you know, d- depending on how you look at the bullpen. But um, – his ERA is below two three uh, two nine. I mean, what is going on with Gio this year? What are you seeing differently with him this year than you did the last three? I think I think a, a very similar physically, uh, mentally. I think he's a more mature guy. You know, he's he's a father now. He's got one on the way. Uh, he's uh, you know he's he's much more uh, mature uh, teammate. Uh, he, he's taking to really uh, studying his craft a lot. He does a lot of work now in, in the in the video room. Uh, he's really taking care of his body. Also, uh, he came into uh, spring training shape uh, uh, in ex- extremely good shape, and and continuing to do his uh, workout program for the rest of the year. Uh, I think he's seen a, a little uh, uh, bit of a change in the way he uh, the way he attacks hitters now. Uh, you know, he's he's more of a pitcher now than he's ever been in his career. Uh, he can't rely on a 95, 96 mile an hour fastball from the left side like he used to. Uh, you know, now he's 89 to 92. He pitches, he, you know, he pitches low in the zone. He all, he, he's, he's gone back to relying on that nasty curveball that he has uh, and, and, and really has developed that third pitch in the chain. So pitching more, throwing more strikes, uh, challenging hitters and getting ahead of them, uh, I think that's always been the key to him. Uh, and I think that uh, he, he's really now uh, beginning to become more of a pitcher than, he, and, than, than the thrower that he was when he was you know, young and had that electric arm. Mm-hmm. You know, we were talking about Daniel Murphy and just just how ridiculous he's been playing for you since you guys acquired him. What what was the light bulb moment for him, right? I mean, he was always a good hitter, but he, he's taking it to like a Wade Boggs level. Yeah. You know, it's just crazy. Yeah, uh, when you when you talk to him about it, uh, you know, uh, his hitting coach Long over there uh, was uh, instrumental in uh, kind of tweaking his approach to the, to to hitting where they got him more on top of the plate, looking inside, looking to, uh, looking to really do a lot of damage when he's ahead in the count uh, like he is so often. Uh, and instead of, you know, he u- always uses the whole field. He's always been a good 285, 290 hitter. Uh, but I think now l- looking at a different kind of a mindset that I'm ahead in the count, I'm going to look to really pull this ball and to do some damage and, and, to, and to maybe, uh, uh, you know, hit the ball in the air. Uh, you know, launch angles. He's big in. He's big in all the analytics. He's a very intelligent player. Uh, he's you know he's kind of another hitting coach on the bench. And uh, I think all that uh, all that came into play in, uh, in that last like two months when he was with the Mets, going through the last part of the season, then through the playoffs, and he just has has taken that to a new level with us. So I, I think that uh, you know studying a lot looking at the analytics, kind of dissecting his swing, and he's really become uh, kind of a, a, a hitting savant, uh, if you will, uh, within the clubhouse and uh, talks to a lot of hitters of, of, about hitting, and, uh, you know, he knows it. He, he really uh, he really has do- dove into the uh, into the mechanics and into analytics of it, and he's really become a, a, a real student of the, of the art of hitting. Uh, Mike, who, out of the everyday lineup, which hitter do you think has the quickest hands? In, in the zone, getting his hands through the zone. Is it Bryce? I think the, mo- the most handsy hitter, the most handsy hitter I think we have is Rendon. He utilizes his hands the best. Uh, Bryce, to me, has the, uh, he, uh, he has the ability to generate extreme amount of bat speed and still stay balanced at the plate. I think that's what he does uh, 
re remarkably well. And it's very, very difficult to, to generate the head speed and the bat speed that he does and still stay as balanced as he does is a, is a, a lot of hard work, and it's a gift from God that, uh, that he could do that. And I think that's what makes him special. Zim, you know, Zim is such a timing guy and a leverage guy that, uh, that you know, when he stands tall at the plate and is, and is really hitting down at the ball and, and utilizing the middle of the field, He's ultra dangerous, and you know, each guy has their little key and their little uh, their little uh, uh, tweak that uh, that the hitting coaches look for uh, when they're going good, and and tries to change when they're not going so good. Uh, and you know, those are kind of the keys for me. But Rendon's hands are electric. He's the most handy guy we have, uh, and uh, he uh, you know, that's that's how he succeeds is is because uh, uh, he he can handle the ball inside where he turns out and pulls his hands in, and he can really really. Uh, levers the ball to the to right center and when he's going good you'll see him hitting a lot of line drives to the to the right center gap 